Namaste. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion. I'm Dylan. And today is Mardi Gras. So happy Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. Um, it's funny because I speak French and I had to actually look that up because I don't ever say it with a French accent. So to me, it's just a, a name that's not, doesn't correlate to anything. But it does because Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday. Um, anyway, it is Fat Tuesday. It is Mardi Gras. So Happy Mardi Gras. I don't have any beads. I meant to grab some, but I don't have them. Today is the last day to feast before uh, Lent in the Catholic tradition. So I've been told I'm not Catholic. So I just wanted to create a fun class that would really get the heart pumping, get the body moving, get the calories burning before we feast tonight uh, I'll be feasting after this on some fruit. Um, but yeah, anywho, I'll meet you on the mat. Starting in Tadasana, just to ground in for a moment, really open across the chest, lift through the crown of the head, keep a micro bend in the knees, Gently lengthen the tailbone towards the heel, engage the core. That was a little bit of a long intro that didn't say much of anything, so mostly this class is just going to be a power punch. One of my favorites, it's going to have some cardio, it's going to have some strength training. So just take this moment here to ground in, to tune in, see where we're at today. Maybe we're feeling rushed. Maybe we're excited for the festivities ahead. If you do practice Lent, maybe you're wondering what you're going to give up. Not 100% sure how that works. So if anybody wants to uh, enlighten me, teach me, I'm always willing to learn new things. So please uh, share below your experience, you know, your favorite things about, um, about this time period. But other than that, just come into this moment, into the breath, into the body. Lengthening the inhales and the exhales. Inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Engage the core, relax the shoulders. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. You can hook the arms above the head and gently sway left and right, allowing the crown of the head to be heavy, the back to decompress, the spine to decompress. Keep the knees bent to keep the stretch, to protect the lower back, to stretch the lower back, to be gentle on the lower back. Then inhale, glide the hands up the shins to the thighs, shoulders down and back, elbows squeeze into the side body, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step it back, plank. Give me a good plank. Strong core. And then launch forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. So we're just starting out here. We'll be moving the body slowly to wake up. You can find some gentle movement in your high lunge. Square the hips. You can keep your hands on your hips. You can take your hands to prayer or above the head. Yogi's choice. Press the left heel away from you. Squeeze the right thigh in towards the midline. So see if you have a tendency to let it fall out to the side. So press on the inner and outer edge of the front foot. And then bend the left knee, bring the hips directly underneath the shoulders. So you're in one straight line from the hip to the head. Square those hips and then begin to re-straighten through the left leg. See when you start to notice feeling a nice stretch along the hip flexor. So you have a tendency to try to go too deep into this stretch, which could um, crunch the lower back a little bit. So we'll come out of it in these high lunges, 
today and really work on that alignment. Take your right hand to your right hip, reach up and over, side bend. You can look up, you can look down, you can look forward. You can look any way that you would like, as long as you are feeling a glorious stretch along the left side body in the left hip flexor. Press the left heel away from you, palm down, keep the shoulder away from the ear. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank, vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. And again, you get to choose where you keep your hands. Square the right hip forward, left hip back. You can bend through the right knee to bring the hips directly underneath the shoulders, engage the core. And then begin to re-straighten through the right knee, right leg, and see where you start to feel that stretch. And it might be surprisingly a lot earlier than you would think, so you can't go as deep in the stretch, and that's fine. The goal of yoga is never the pose. The goal of yoga is many things, but to awaken the body, to become present in the body, to become present in the moment, to still the mind, to meditate, to find enlightenment. There's all sorts of things. <laughs> There's all sorts of reasons to go to yoga or to practice yoga, whether it be a physical practice or a spiritual practice. But um, hitting that pose just right, you know, the Instagram worthy pose is generally not <laughs> the reason to go to yoga. Take your left hand to your left hip, reach up and over with the right arm. Press the right heel away from you. Again, you can look up, down, or center, as long as you're feeling that stretch. Inhale back up. Exhale, plant the palms. Step it back, plank, vinyasa. Optional second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the hips high. Inhale, look between your hands. And exhale, hop, step, or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, core engage. Dip the chin. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms forward and up. And exhale, take the right arm back, followed by the left arm. So backward swimming, opening through the shoulders. Inhale, lift, exhale back. Breathe slowly and deeply. Engage the core, knit those ribs closed, and just notice how this feels in the shoulders. Excellent. Come back to center. Take the feet hip distance apart and begin to twist, lifting the, the heels off. So let the arms lead. Let your arms be loose. I'll face you so I stop hitting my room divider. Just allow the spine to twist, the arms to lead. I feel like there's a toy back in the day that looked like this, that you sh like spun and things like flipped around the toy. So imagine you're that. All right, back to center. Honey's not gonna like this one. So take your feet as wide as the mat or at least hip distance apart, toes facing slightly out. Engage the core, look up or look forward rather. Sink the hips back towards the heels so the knees stay over the ankles or at least behind the toes, so into a squat position. Now, three hops towards the back of the mat, and then one big hop towards the front. Three hops to the back, small hops, and then one big hop to the front. Oh, she's not really minding this. Three hops back, one, two, three, one forward. So three, four, the mat's going to hit her pretty soon, <laughs> forward, five, 
three hops back, forward, six, couple more, hop back, hop back, hop back, forward, seven, three more, hop, 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 keep it low, eight, hop, 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 press the knees out so they don't let them come together. Imagine you have a bands around your thighs, you have to press the knees out. Jump, nine, nine to eight, we'll do two more. Two, three, hop, Whew. last one, back. And up, four, forward fold. You can heel to your feet. Woo, in towards each other, hip distance. Bring the weight onto the toes, let the head be heavy. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. And you thought we were done. Plank jumps. So jump the feet towards the hands, keep the core tight. Hands underneath, shoulders, fingers spread wide, and hop back. Forward, back, 20. One, two, three, four, core tight, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, vinyasa, second so chaturanga, sit down, hard facing, mm-hmm, I told you, I told you that this would be a tough one. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Press the left heel away from you. Come back to the breath. Imagine that we did not just do cardio. <laughs> Hands to prayer, prayer twist. Look over the right shoulder. Take the left hand down to the mat, right arm up, easy twist. Plant the palms, step it back. Plank, good plank, and now plank jack. So pop the feet to the outside of the mat, and then back in. Keep the booty low, so don't let the, don't do this from down dog. <laughs> do this from plank. Keep the core super tight. Go as fast as you can. Give me good alignment. Hop out, hop in 20 times. One, two, core super tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. Vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Walk it out. And come to stillness. Shake the head yes and no. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Focusing on the alignment, so keep the hips underneath the shoulders. Hands to prayer, prayer twist. Take the right hand to the mat, left arm up. Easy twist. Squeeze the left knee in towards the body. Reach up and over, plank. I'm gonna move my mat. I think I'm scooching towards honey. Plank. Two. Mountain climbers. So your choice of how you choose to do the mountain climbers. So you can either keep the feet off of the mat, like you're running, or step and switch 
the feet on the mat. I'm not sure which one of these is actually more difficult. That one you have to go slower, so it might be more core, whereas the faster one is more cardio. So, yogi's choice, 20 of these, to vinyasa, to downward facing duck. 20 mountain climbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, vinyasa, to downward facing duck. Mm -hmm. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Now, bring the left foot back and around to the right, so you'll be in curtsy lunge position. Bring the left knee towards the mat, so squeeze the right knee in. Press up through the right heel ten times. One. Two, three, four. Press through the right heel. You should feel this in your glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back. High lunge. Bring the left knee down, low lunge. Take the right hand to the left thigh. Reach up and back. Twist. Press through the top of the left foot, let the left shin melt into the mat. Squeeze the right thigh in towards the midline. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Lift through the heart. And step it back. Plank. And vinyasa. Second chaturanga. Optional to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. And then bring the left foot back and around, sorry, right foot back and around to the left, curtsy. So bringing the right knee to the mat, squeeze the left thigh in, press through the left heel and lift. 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Step back. High lunge. Drop the right knee down. Low lunge. Press through the top of the right foot. Lift the heart space. And bring the left hand back to the right thigh. Reach up and over to the back with the right arm. Palm of the hand facing down. Squeeze the left thigh in towards the midline. Find a lot of length in the spine. And plant the palms. Plank, vinyasa, upward dog, to downward dog. Press to the base of the fingers, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Rock forward to plank, and then side plank on the right side. Left knee to left elbow, 10 times. One. Two, squeeze it tight. Three, four, five, use the obliques. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot down, right elbow, right knee to left elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach up and overhead. Plank. Opposite side. Right knee, right elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lift the hips high. Eight, nine, ten. Opposite knee to elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach up and overhead. Lift the hips high. Plank. Knees to the mat, hips over knees, walk the hands forward as far as they'll go. Keep the hips back, press the hips away from the fingertips, forehead to the mat, extend to puppy.
walk it back in. Take the right leg forward, pigeon pose. Lift tall through the crown of the head, press through the top of the left foot, square the hips, twist to the right. And then walk the hands forward if you'd like to make it a little deeper. I'm going to keep this quick, this stretch. Coming back to the breath. Walk your hands back in, switch sides. Left leg forward this time, right leg back. Press through the top of the right foot. Lift, grow taller, press the right hip down, twist to the left. And then walk your hands forward. If you'd like, right hip down. Noticing where you feel sensation. Breathing into those places. Walk it back in. Come to sit on your bum. So roll down onto the back slowly. Lift the feet to the sky. Flex the foot, the feet. And you can take your hands behind your head or underneath your bum for support. And then drop the right leg down. Bring it back up. Left leg down, press the lower back into the mat. So lifting the heart space might make this easier because you're rounding the back into the mat. Switching legs, right. You can reach forward, left, right. Squeeze the core, left. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. Lift the heart, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Squeeze the knees into the chest for a sec, for a break. If we're not done, we are never done. Wah ha ha ha. Okay, so now flex the feet to the sky, take the hands behind the head. Inhale and exhale, crunch the heart towards the knees. Keep the feet where they are. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch, two. Inhale, three. Press the lower back into the mat. Four, five. Take the right foot, right leg down to a 45 degree angle, crunch. One, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be a big crunch. Five. And now take the right elbow to left knee. One, two, three, four, five. Knees in. Half a second. Both feet to the sky. Crunch to the sky. One. Press the back into the mat. Two, three, four. On the exhale. Five. Left leg, 45 degree angle. Crunch straight up. One, two, three. Four, five, so terrible. Left elbow to right knee, one, two, three, four, five. Knees into the chest. Whew. Okay. Last set of abs. So take the Hands behind the ears, elbows wide. We'll press the lower back into the mat, lift the heart space. Right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Slow bicycles, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, 
three, press the back into the mat, four, squeeze the navel, five, six, lift the heart, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh. okay, knees into the chest, good job, good, good job, soles of the feet to the mat, pressing to all four corners of the feet, lengthen the tailbone towards the heels, and lift the pelvis up, bridge pose. So squeeze the thighs towards each other. Make sure that your toes are facing directly away from you. And then rather than lifting from the belly, you can drop the pelvis a little bit, lengthen the pelvis, the tailbone, towards the knees, and then lift straight from the pelvis, and then the body will follow. Press through the balls of the feet. You can take your hands to clasp underneath, if that feels nice to you. Combating the hunch. And slowly lower it back down. Take both arms above the head, both legs long, cat stretch. Pet your dog. <clears throat> and then right knee into the chest. Take the right knee on top of the left knee, so you're crossing the legs, and then drop both knees over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. And back to center, switch sides. So take the left knee into the chest, bring the right knee underneath the left, and bring both knees over to the right. And look over your left shoulder. Pet your dog again. <laughs> Petting the dog is definitely part of yoga. Or the cat. Or the rabbit, if you've got one close by. Inhale, come back to center. Bring the outer or inner edge of the feet into the hands. Squeeze the knees in towards the armpits. Stamp the feet to the sky. Happy baby. Come back to the breath. Really slowing it all down. Allowing the benefits of the movement and the presence in this practice to sink into the body. Bring the soles of the feet together, press the knees apart, and then allow the feet to come to the mat, Supta Baddha Konasana. Allow the hands to fall heavy to the left and right, the knees to be heavy. Gently dip the chin to find length in the neck. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Another like that in through the nose and out through the nose. You can take your legs long here or leave them in recline butterfly pose for your choice of Shavasana. Allow the breath to release and the body to be heavy. Allow the mind and the body to process the benefits of this practice by remaining present and still for as long as you're able. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Mardi Gras if you're celebrating. And I'll see you very soon for our next class together. Namaste.